Okay guys, I was looking for a pattern drawing software. I was looking around and this uh, Valentina came up. And actually it does the job, although it's uh, pretty confusing, you know, as any new software. I saw a few videos, but uh, they were not uh, clear. I mean, they were geared more towards those guys that are into this garment stuff, which I'm not. All I wanted to have is a piece of software that will let me draw a pattern and, and you know, Supposedly you can export this to an SVG file, which is from there we can print it out or do whatever I need So I'm gonna show you what I did from my point of view Probably not the right way, but this is how I kind of figured out how to use this thing So I'm gonna draw a simple pattern from the start I don't bore you with these other things that you can read, you know, these extra features that this thing has Obviously you're gonna start at the drawing uh, a new pattern Right? I'm gonna call it test one and I'm gonna use inches and there we go okay then we center this tool because it, it gives a starting point and I figured out that you know this this tool on the point uh, which is from this point and to the end point that's how you start going around your uh, pattern and actually you try to run to draw your pattern with the straight lines and then you know the curvy thing is you just use this uh, curve of course this arc I didn't figure out, I couldn't figure out how to use it so as I said I'm gonna do the way that I figured out how it works so from point A I need a one straight line so I click it just leave it there this is the angle I need a zero degree and a line which is two inches long and then we center it and we keep building our pattern just with the straight lines and then later we add this uh, curvy thingies so but before we continue we need to um, scale this right that's the main thing of this thing we want to make a pattern and after a while we want to scale because I mean that's that's the beauty of this thing so again this is the way I figured it out I'm not sure if this is how you're supposed to do it but the way I figured it out is you go here you go to this increment tab and add uh, increment and you give the name I call it the scale obviously and uh, value everything is going to be multiplied by one obviously right but you know down the road we can change this number and we'll scale the whole uh, pattern we refresh it okay so now let's see let's double check that thing is still there it is there okay so we can start by editing our first point that we did this a1 so here if you go here to the detail you see the value is obviously two right because I said two inches but actually we want to multiply there's a formula here I want to multiply this by my scale again this is how I figured it out might not be the right way to do it but that's that's how it worked for me so now let's continue going through the pattern. I'm gonna go through simplified points, very easy. So we click here again to go the next thing. I'm gonna go down. Yeah, then I need a. Of course, the ang angle is gonna be to, to 70 degrees, obviously, because it's down. And this is gonna be two inches, two inches also, but we multi we multiply it by our uh, put a formula here two inches god damn it okay I multiply by our increment variable so everything is scaled all right okay we center it at two points let's make just a gonna make a little curve between afterwards but now everything has to be good straight lines so I'm gonna go my little line here there which has a scale, I mean we don't put the formula whatever the value is we want to scale by our factor here which is this variable I defined alright yes, done center it I'm gonna put out one more straight line here so uh, you also have to do this uh, clockwise don't ask me why that's how this software works so oh, up to here uh, let's make the angle has to be 180 of course right because you want it straight not 
curved and whatever I want, I want this value to be 1.2 I'm gonna put the little formula 1.2 times our scale factor okay almost there I'm gonna do two more and then we're good to go one more point I'm gonna go up okay here uh, I want this to be straight so it's 90 degrees and um, 1.25 that's what I'm gonna do Put my little formula 125 times our scale factor this guy all right Ooh, I went too far too too much up uh, because I put 11 you see so you can edit here I just want 125 okay and I need the last uh, point here I'm gonna show you the part I'm gonna do at the end so with this so the last point I want it right here there point nine but let's make it one one yeah one times our scale guy which is this uh, variable we good we good done so we got our basic points we define them clockwise don't ask me why that's what this software seems to work better but now we need now the curly thing is right so like this corner I need to be curly so let me zoom in and uh, we go to this curve option and this is make a curve between two points so I'm gonna start point end point then you got this little arrow there then you can once you put the mouse over it, a little icon should show up at some point oh, there you go you can grab with this and pull it see but of course it's, uh, you have to adjust this to make it look nicer so see here you can adjust with this little thing you say put in here mm, let's see that's more or less a nice nicely curved got it so then I need another curve here right here same tool always try to do the clockwise don't ask me why that's how they did it same thing here there wait until the little hand pops and we do it of course then you more or less get you know get the curve the way you wanted it and I have a last I want to put a last curve here same thing try to go always clockwise got it let's zoom a little bit zoom okay so we grab the little hand there now we touch it up nicely okay so zoom to fit there you go so that's my little pattern pretty cool right see the video this is that uh, well let me show it so we finished this that's step one we did the drawing pieces next step is we got to get the details which is you know we want to pick the ones the lines out of this thing to the ones we want to actually print out so we go to the detail I mean these other options I have no idea I try them but they're so confusing and you do this this plus thingy they call it a workpiece and then you start at some point and go around clockwise select the line the, the line points and the lines and the splines which is the curvy lines to your um, uh, shape now let's start here start here I wanna go to A1 I wanna go then to A2 then I wanna choose this spline this curve thingy got it a2 then I wanna go to a4 got it a5 I wanna pick my uh, curvy thingy and the last one got it see when you get to this point you're ready to go but just gotta hit enter and then you got this pop up this shows you know your points that you went see clockwise a a1 and the little splines since this is a simple one we, we're good to go we say okay okay so now we have our contour and our shape that we need to print next thing you go to details everything is fine there nothing to do so now we're almost done right because I mean I think you can touch it up but 
so at this point let's say this is ready to go so you want to print it out to get this pattern draw cut whatever you know so you go to this layout and here you choose your paper oh, this is just fit on the letter paper and let it go and let it crank as you see on the back you put it there so you can put several patterns here on this paper of that size okay so you let it crank and you know it's gonna do this thing I think it's thinking or whatever it is it's doing something there but uh, we just hold up and once we get the scale we're ready to go and this is pretty useful actually I mean I, I, I needed a, a bunch of patterns like that and you see that you can shape up the curves and there are more tools there that probably had to play with it I just couldn't figure it out I mean that so confusing this is the way that I think it worked you know for a newbie like myself you know I just got the software like, like yesterday I played last night and now I kind of figured out I'm just making this video so I, next time I don't forget or a reminder I want to get back to it to come up with a very simple uh, layout okay so there it is no big deal we got it so you can and the, the beauty of this thing is you can actually once you have the uh, to this point to the layout you can go to layout and then you can export see here you can export as PDF SVG Acrobat Adobe blah 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 and from here you can go to Gerber files and all those goodies so easy right now the only the only next thing I want to show you is this um, scaling right we gotta go to drawing mode okay draw mode variable stable see we made our, our um, scale factor one but we can just make it two make it twice as big see that's on the back we refresh it bam see and we center it it did it but see once you get it all you do is go back to detail go back to layout let it crank and it's good to go okay this is a basic thing as I said you know you can touch it up go back edit it move it around but this is like a startup video that I needed myself you know so I'm gonna keep it for myself just you know to get a simple pattern that you want to drive and without getting through all these extra options which I'm pretty sure they're good but you gotta play more with it to get it to work right all right ah by the way I'm using the Mac most of the videos are on Windows and some of the options are not the same that's what threw me away you know but playing around with this little thing on the Mac I figured out this is how to make a pattern the way that I visualize making one you know as I said there might be a better way or this might not be the proper way to do it but it works for me that's all that matters right get it done no nothing else nothing more okay got it okay you got a scale here you can you can export it import it and all those goodies right you go to the here export yeah I didn't see oh, that's everything when you do uh, a scale I mean you gotta close it and open it I mean that's the deal with this software I mean unless there is some weird hidden key sequence that I don't know the only way I figured it out is you have to close and open it no biggie alright so that should do it